best of this workout. I'm still feeling very much full from the brunch that I just came from. I had a really long warm up, just taking it easy, just letting my food digest for a little bit. To be fair, it was about 40 minutes since I ate, but I like to wait at least an hour before I feel just more comfortable pushing myself in the gym. But the food was so delicious so so delicious we went to this place called diggin but they have a new location on a lower manhattan uh near bleaker street and it's more like a cafe and it was so cute and cozy the food was so good i've had diggin before but not this type of diggin it was delicious i got lucky enough to get invited through my friend tara because it's her high school friend that was working at that location so she invited us for that new location and of course i said yes to free food but yeah now i'm here at the gym making the most out of it and it also comes to show that not every workout is going to be perfect or optimal do i feel like being here right now no but to be completely transparent i just want to go home and lay down I want to go home watch netflix do some client work and this is what i preach to my clients as well is that your workouts are not going to be perfect they're not always going to be the best case scenario what's important is that you still get up and do something and just to the best of your ability to create the habit maintain the habit and create some consistency into your routine so yeah i'm gonna get to it i'm gonna do some conventional deadlifts super set with some staggered stands rdls uh, so wish me good luck because i will probably need it we are starting off today's workout with some conventional deadlifts for the glutes and hamstrings this is a compound movement, so it does work your complete body, you know, back, arms, a little bit, definitely core. Core has to be worked here as well. Our calves, shins, etc., quads. You know the whole spiel, but it's mostly for the hamstrings and glutes. I do have some other videos on my channel that breaks down this movement, if you're interested in watching that. And this is also a super set because I am just that person. I really want to just, you know, not feel my legs at all. So we're going immediately into staggered stance RDLs. And don't forget that these reps are for each leg. So we're doing six reps for each leg. And this is also a super set, as I mentioned. So for those who don't know what a super set is, it's basically when you do two exercises back to back with no break. So I went immediately into the staggered stance RDLs right after my conventional deadlifts. And for some reason, I filmed my next movement in slow motion and it kind of turned out a little bit creepy. Uh, yes, but I'm just simply showing you guys that I'm using a barbell pad for this movement. I also need to get my Amazon storefront up and working because this barbell pad I actually got from Amazon and I really like it. It's like, you know, kind of cute. There's no logo on it because everybody's branding their things nowadays. Uh, but anyways, I did hip thrust for the glutes for the next movement. And then I also turned this movement into a superset with the single leg hip thrust immediately after. And let me tell you, I feel like a lot of times single leg hip thrusts are so undervalued because they are such a tough movement. Definitely recommend trying this combination out if you're serious about taking your glute gains to the next level. Lastly, we are doing walking lunges and I feel like a lot of you guys are just going to be like absolutely not, but this movement has I believe changed my physique for the better. There is so many benefits from walking lunges. Not only can you focus on different muscle groups depending on how your form is. So mine is a little bit more glute focused, but it's definitely still working my quads as well as it is the dominant muscle in this movement. But because I make it a little bit more hinge like movement by bringing my torso forward and my hips a little bit more backwards, I am also targeting my glutes. But it's such a great exercise that also works your endurance it really gets you sweating and for not to mention it also burns a lot of calories because it is more as i mentioned endurance like Whew, what a tough day it's already been it's another beautiful day i think we last left off after i went to the gym 
I went home to eat some delicious food and I was so tired so I literally went straight to bed. It's a new day. I'm spending a lot of today just filming a lot of material for my coaching platform, which kind of leads me into this next section. I know a lot of you have started on your New Year's resolution and I couldn't be more proud of you, but I also know a lot of you struggle with staying consistent. If we look away from the New Year's resolution, let's not even worry about that. Let's just focus on alone staying consistent to your goal. So many struggle with staying consistent and it's for different reasons. It's not all for the same reasons. Some are newer to the gym so they may feel a little bit more lost and don't really know how to tackle this whole fitness situation. It can be very overwhelming for newcomers to know exactly what to do in the gym, how to do the exercises, what to eat, how many calories you should be eating for you specifically, how to calculate that, for not to mention about macros and all of that. And here comes the accountability as well. I think this is where most of us need help in. A lot of us struggle with staying consistent because we have nobody really keeping us accountable other than ourselves. I'm here to tell you that I can help you. I can help you build a custom workout plan made specifically for you, your goal, your body. If you have any special needs or limited equipment, this is all something I can help with. For not to mention I'll also make custom meal plans and you will have direct access to me as a coach. So if you're interested in getting training for me, I'm building this empire of women who are like-minded, like you, needing help, chasing similar goals. You can right now claim a spot for my coaching by clicking the link down in the description. Obviously I post a lot of free stuff here on my YouTube channel as well as on Instagram and TikTok, but I'm far from consistent when it comes to posting and workouts every single day and these are not custom made either so if you're watching this video maybe for some motivation whatever the reason is and you need a little extra push or just somebody to tell you what to do i was once there struggling not knowing what to do but enough about that if you have any questions feel free to comment down below i'll go back to filming this little section for my platform I'm actually filming a warm up video tutorial and a cool down video tutorial. As you guys know, we have to do the dynamics first and then we can do the flexibility and static stretching after. So I'm just showing a few movements for those who are needing a little bit more inspiration or just need a little bit more to be told what to do. I think, I feel like I need an extra little kick of something. Hmm. My best advice for those who are working out at home and are obviously struggle with the consistency as well is to treat it like you are going to the gym and working out at the gym. I feel like this is the biggest life hack when it comes to staying consistent to your at-home workouts. Treat it like you are going out the door. Get in the shower, get ready as if you were going out the door. Drink your little pre-workout little ASMR. Put on your favorite playlist. Will you still pretend you're happy? What you gonna do when your followers come? You see where I'm going with this. Get hype. And I feel like you're way more likely to work out at home when you treat it like a real workout. That's my little pro tip for today. I'm kind of just ranting right now, but I think I should close this video out here. I hope you guys enjoyed it and are enjoying these little vlogs, gym vlogs that I've been doing. And with that said, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to watch more videos like this one, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And I'll hopefully see you guys in the next video. Bye!